always fought, not in spite of being women, but because they are women. So what does that phrase mean in light of all of these different accounts and stories? Women fight as mothers. You know, they go to war to defend their children. They fight as widows, either to usually to defend their inheritance from their husbands. Sometimes they fight as daughters. They're going to emulate a father or to go in a place of a father on occasion. Durova goes because she'd rather be her father than her mother. They go as queens, which is an odd rank because the original word for queen really means king's wife, not a ruler as queens. They are going to defend their homes. You know, the thing that stunned me most when I got into this research was that the most common women warriors throughout history are women who defend besieged cities. Hmm. They are fighting to defend their homes, and they're fighting with the very clear understanding of what happens to women when a besieged city falls. The early Modern Europe, which is a a, a hotbed of this kind of thing, there's this recurring metaphor of the fall of a besieged city as a rape. Well, in, in real life terms, that metaphorical rape turns into a literal rape. All too often, women fight in a besieged city because they're women and because they know what will happen if that city falls. Yeah, that's very, very accurately accounted throughout history over and over and over and over again in I couldn't even think of a case of a city that falls where that wouldn't happen. It would stand out historically because it's so odd. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's something to definitely fight for. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for sharing all this. And I'm sure there are many more stories in your book, Women Warriors and Unexpected History. So, Pamela, thank you for joining us. And if people would like to learn more about your research and other projects you've worked on online, where is the best place to find you? There are two places. First, I have a blog called History in the Margins. It's www.historyinthemargins.com, where I am usually telling stories about things I'm writing about, things that don't fit in a project, or things that I'm just interested in, book reviews, that sort of thing. And then the other place is my website, which is www.pamaladetoller.com. Great. I'll include those in the show notes for this episode so people can check that out if they want to learn more. Pamela, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me. So that is the episode for today. As always, I want to thank the Knowlton's Rangers, especially our spy masters, Bill Ivey, Joyce Norman, Tyler from Colorado, Josh Reddick, Baron Fraser, Chris from Maine, Carl from Norway, Moondoggy from Ohio, Rick Knowlton, Vic and Irene, Mike from New York, Michelle, and Marlene. I'll explain what that is in a second. If you like the show and want to help it grow, there are four easy ways for you to do it. One, like and subscribe to the show on the podcast player of your choice. This helps spread the word about the show. Two, join our Facebook group. Here we can keep the discussion going about new episodes and you can talk about what you like and didn't like. And you can find this group if you just search for History Unplugged on Facebook. Three, we have an online store with t-shirts, phone covers, and other accessories featuring awesomely bad history puns that were crowdsourced by you, the audience. And you can find that if you go to tpublic, T-E-E, public.com and look for History Unplugged, or you just go to historyonthenet.com and look for our store there. Four, and this is really the best way to dive deep with History Unplugged, and that's to become one of the Knowlton's Rangers. If you know your American history, you know the Knowlton's Rangers were an elite spy and reconnaissance group in the American Revolutionary War, but it's also the name of the membership program of History Unplugged. You can join at three levels. If you join at the level of Scout, you can hear all the episodes of History Unplugged completely ad-free and get early access to new episodes, at least a week early. If you join at the Intelligence Officer level, you get special bonus episodes, like a 10-part series on the World War II hero Audie Murphy, a multi-part series called Ottoman Lives about different people in the Ottoman Empire, and a series called Rendezvous with Death that looks at biographical profiles of Americans who went to fight in World War I before America entered the war. The last level is Spy Master, where you get all that stuff, but you also get three hardcover history books, Forging a President, How the Wild West Created Teddy Roosevelt, Race to the Top of the World, Richard Byrd and the First Flight to the North Pole, and The Last Fighter Pilot, the true story of the final combat mission of World War II. Another bonus is you can choose a history topic for me to focus on for an entire episode that can go up to an hour, and I'll answer whatever question you have for me, and you get a shout out at the end of each episode. If you want to learn how to become a member of the Knowlton's Rangers, go to patreon.com slash unplugged. That's patreon.com slash unplugged. 
All right. Well, that is all for my spiel. Thanks for listening to the History Unplugged podcast from ancient Greece to the Cold War and everything else in between. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.